So as many people know, the new uh, Windows 10 was talked about and partially released the other day. So as you see, according to my desktop, we have this new thing that says, ask me anything. So let's go ahead and uh, set this up. So we click it, it says I'm Cortana, your super assistant, no keep required. All right, that's cute, great. Uh, we don't wanna learn more, we just wanna click allow. Um, now let's go through the settings. So we get this screen that's kind of like what you've been seeing in Windows 8.1, the private beta. Um, so location platform we keep on so that it can locate us and things like that. And now I'm going to allow Windows and other apps to look at my location and history. Uh, I think that could be very beneficial in the future. And as you see here, here's an odd thing, right? Geofencing. How that will help or how it will be utilized in the future, I'm not quite sure. Now, here's the other thing I've noticed. Health and fitness for uh, tracking is uh, off. Now, on my uh, Windows Phone uh, 8.1, it is enabled. But um, as you see here, we can do with webcam, which you can choose which apps can use it, which, uh, again, search. Uh, microphone, let's see again, search. Skype, sound recorder. I'm gonna say the sound recorder, and never know. We might have to dictate, right? Uh, speech, inking, and typing. That is kind of scary where it knows, you know, a lot about you. And to be honest with you, um, it does know because it'll tell me, hey, did you know you have to go to work soon and whatnot. Um, but as you see here, we'll allow apps to access my name, picture, blah, blah, blah. Let apps use my advertising ID. Um, I don't want this smart screen filter crap. Um, Text suggestions, okay. Let websites provide local relevant, great. And then here you can obviously manage your advertising and blah, 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 blah. But um, otherwise, technically, so if we click here, we could search the web, or would you like me to call you? That is crazy. So here we're gonna go ahead and put Lance. Hear how I will say it. Lance. Sounds good to me. Great, Lance, thanks. Okay, now we hit done. Now what can I help with with Lance? So here we are with the live version of uh, Cortana on Windows 10, which is very odd. Would you like me to suggest places to check out nearby? We'll go ahead and say yes, and it's powered by po uh, Foursquare, which is odd, uh, especially since Foursquare kind of has been hidden lately. But um, yeah, goes into my web history, which is a little spooky because that's from my Windows phone. But uh, here we have places, uh, which I don't want you guys to see my home and whatnot. No offense, but so I ideally um, here is just giving you the stuff. Now, if you want to dictate to Cortana um, and it says, how valuable is the information that Cortana just showed you? I don't know if you guys saw that, but Windows feedback that popped up. Uh, we'll go ahead and say three because it wasn't really irrelevant. But So if we go ahead and hit the microphone, we should be able to dictate. What is the weather? Right now, it's 48 and clear. That is so cool. It's just like as if it was on my phone, right? So we could say, uh, what is the weather tomorrow? The forecast for tomorrow shows sun with a high of 63 and a low of 43. Uh, 8.1 update that we have for Cortana. And the other thing we could say is, what is your name? I'm Cortana. And indeed you are. Now, uh, that's pretty much it for Cortana. I will have other videos of different features in the new uh, Windows 10 that I'm given, which is the uh, build 9926. Uh, and I was just recently given uh, automatically. I did not choose. But this is Lance for the Take Me Show. And uh, thank you so much for watching.